We know that heat could really take a toll on cattle and your cattle herd, so make a plan now is the time. Here's a look. When the heat cranks up outside, farmers and ranchers need to adjust like anyone else, right? Well, now is the time to make plans to reduce heat stress on cattle. Nebraska Extension Educator Rob Eirich directs the Nebraska Beef Quality Assurance Program and joins us now as well. Rob, thank you for being with us here. So if we are planning to work cattle, what are a few things we can do or even refer to in order to lower the risk of that heat stress? Well, one of the things that we always uh, want to encourage uh, operations to do is really look at the forecast, look at that forecast out there, and use the temperature humidity chart that we've uh, actually put up online as well uh, to look at as those temperatures are getting into the 80s and, and those humidities are getting up into that 30 percent, we need to really start thinking about what can we do and when do we need to plan our days out. We want to make sure as we're moving cattle at this time of year, as these temperatures rise, that we want to do that early in the morning prior to 8, uh, eight o'clock if possible and never really after 10 o'clock because that's when we start to really get in the heat of the day and those animals start to absorb that heat and the ground temperature starts to increase. And so what happens is their core temperature increases and the core temperature of the animal actually peaks two hours after the temperature uh, outside or our outside temperature peaks during the day. And so we need to allow four to six hours for those animals to cool back down. So we stress that we move animals and, and move them and process them more in the morning as mm -hmm. those cool temperatures arise. And what about facilities too? What can they consider there? When we look at facilities, uh, the biggest thing is, is in pens, we want to make sure that they understand maybe extra water supply, have at more adequate supply of water for the cattle to drink, but also cooling those pens with sprinklers, making sure we have airflow. If you're looking at investment into some infrastructure, maybe some shading in yards that will help decrease that that, that temperature of the ground in those pins, those floor temperatures, that way you have the airflow keeping those cattle cool and that ground kind of cool as well. And so we work on that in our processing facilities. We want to make sure we have adequate airflow, uh, make sure we're, we're processing those cattle where it's a cooler area again. Uh, that way we don't get those increase in temperatures and in body temperatures. If we want more resources, we have questions, where do you suggest we go? We can... Um, Actually, the University of Nebraska Beef website, beef.unl.edu, has a lot of resources on there, and we have a, actually an updated feedlot heat stress information guide that is actually on our publication tab at that website at beef.unl.edu. Great stuff there. And again, too, as he referred to that chart, we'll have all of this interview on our website, Nebraska.tv. A family farm celebrating more than 125 years. Meet this farm family of the month coming up later on. Don't go anywhere.